Hello and welcome to today's video where we are going to talk flat lays. It's likely you've seen this style of photography all over Instagram or Pinterest, essentially these photos that are taken from the top looking down and you see an arrangement of various objects. Usually it'll be twinkle lights and a cup of coffee and a cozy sweater. And sure, there's a ton of them, but they're cute and nice and the world needs more nice things. So we're gonna make some of that today. So before we start taking any pictures, let's think about what our subject matter is going to be. This probably goes without saying, but picking something that you actually like or resonate with can go a long way into telling the story. Thinking about a theme or a color scheme or even a hero object that you want to be the center of attention in your image can also be great building blocks to find a direction of what you want to make. Your lighting will affect the mood. Is it bright and evenly lit or darker with cozy pops of warm color? The use of color or the lack of color can also help paint a different story. Bringing in tones of the same family like reds, oranges, and browns can help bring a richer depth of color into your image and opting for maybe stark, maybe all white will be nice and airy and easy to look at. Blacks will be a lot more contrasting. Using colors like yellows or pinks can really stir up excitement in your image. But at the end of the day, just use what you like and discard what you don't. We're all drawn to different things for a reason. And since this is an exercise in self-expression, own it. If you like it and you like the way that it looks, do it. It's winter for me right now and the cold and the dark makes me appreciate the cozy and the warm all the more. And I really come to relish these morning rituals where I get to have my first cup of hot coffee or tea. So that's what I decided my first setup would be. So to build this image, I'll start with my hero subject, which is of course the cup of coffee. Now for me, in this kind of setting, I love a more maximalist approach. I love to layer textures and different types of objects that are all in the same kind of color family to help build an even more cozy and snuggly kind of feeling. So for this image, I'm going to take a lot more warm tones. This is a nice warm cup of coffee that's going to be a light brown once the cream is added. I have a beautiful copper teapot that I'm going to put in there and cookies that are a nice warm brown color and maybe some cinnamon sticks and star anise kind of sprinkled in there. And I know that it's a lot to all pile together in an image, but where the color tones are so similar, it's a lot less overwhelming than if there were just a million different colors going on. Another way to style a flat lay is a lot more structured. There are clear lines and places where things should be. It's a lot more organized. Everything has its space. The lines are very defined. And so for my second setup, I decided I really wanted to play on that. I wanted to work a little bit with complementary color scheme and also not using natural light and having a bit of a different theme. So I wanted to go for more of a medieval letter writing theme. So I have my wax seals all lined up. I have my feather quill and I have my aged paper, which is so simple to make. You literally just crumple up your paper, take a tea bag that has been steeped a little bit and smear it all over. If it worked for my sixth grade history project, I'm sure it will work now. And of course, if I'm writing letters and Using sealing wax, I'm going to need a candle so that I can write by the light of it and melt my wax over it. And so that was my main source of light. So automatically the tones are going to start to be a lot warmer. We have this browned paper, we have our nice pops of red from the wax and a book that I put in. And I decided I wanted a dash of a complementary color scheme to be going on here. So introducing just little hints of green. So we have a green book that's layered underneath and some little sprigs of evergreen. It's small, but it does diversify the colors of the image just a little bit to make it a bit more interesting without losing the overall warmth of the image. 
And I really, I love this setup. I just thought it was so fun. For this setup, I decided to actually put it together on the floor so it was a lot easier to get an overhead shot. I wanted to use all the same color, just whites and creams, and keep it very, very neutral. And I also wanted to try blending our natural window light with the string lights and candlelight. I found that this made the image both bright and easy and cozy and comforting at the same time. It was a lot of fun to scrounge around the house and find things that were these nice light white and cream colors and even down to the sweater that I wore as my hands peeked into the shot was chosen in that same palette. So there we have it. Three different setups ranging from maximalist and messy to orderly and organized. These sorts of shots are so fun to play with and I hope you try some for yourselves. Don't be afraid to mix your lighting up and try all sorts of different setups. Add and take things away as it feels right for you. And most importantly, just have fun with it. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. I hope that you had fun and maybe even learned something. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!